Kayfabe is dead, wrestling is dead, we're all dead. Fuck, the end is coming and the world is ending. I'm a somewhat depressed D-Wicket from Watch WWE, and these are the 10 times WWE wrestlers broke character. Number 10, Foley grabs Rock's glasses. Where better to start than the Rock and Sock connection, the best thrown together tag team out there. Mid, if you smell catchphrase, you know the one. The Rock did his little side head turd thing towards the hard camera and his glasses just kinda jumped off his face. And after what felt like an eternity of awkwardness, Mankind decides to pick up the Rock's glasses. Cue, the Rock thanks you for that, in continuation of catchphrase. As if nothing even happened. Number 9, JBL bloodies Blue Meanie. Look at that face. Look at that poor, poor, innocent yet bloody face. JBL, you absolute bastard. Number 9, Triple H hugs crying fan. One can only assume the kid was crying because he sensed the authority was coming soon. Smart kid. Number 7, Undertaker shows respect. Now, of any possible wrestler to be on this list, you should have expected Undertaker to be the absolute least likely. A true old school wrestler, he kept kayfabe in every possible way, no matter the occasion. However, the night after Shawn Michaels put Ric Flair's career to rest, barring TNA, <coughs> The Undertaker came out to show the ultimate sign of respect to Flair by kneeling down and doing that cool tongue and arm thing with the dark lights and the lightning and all that, etc, etc. Ooh, spooky taker. Ugh. Number 6, Medusa trashes the WWF Women's title. That is not a cool thing to do, Medusa. Number 5, Potty Mouth Mean Gene. I'm not sure what's wrong with the word fuck. I mean, I use it all the time and I'm the internet's favorite person. Fuck, fuck, fuckity fuck. It's great fun, yet when Mean Gene accidentally dropped the F-bomb, everyone got all riled up, when in reality, they should have been angry at that piece of shit SummerSlam sign that fell on him. Number 4, Booker T is coming for you, Hulk Hogan. Unlike the previous entry, I'm gonna pass on the use of that phrase for two reasons. One, people usually get too offended online, and two, I'm white. And we don't really do that much anymore. However, Hulk Hogan, Booker T is coming for you. Number 3, Bash at the Beach 2000. What a clusterfuck this was. WCW at its finest, folks. Let's put it simply. Hogan politics, Russo politics, Jarrett laying down, Hogan politics, yay WCW. Number 2, The Curtain Call. Oh, the click, you rambunctious political tyrants, you. You guys had to celebrate together, didn't you? Didn't you? Right in the ring. Oh, I bet you didn't think they'd have cameras. Stupid idiots cheeky little quick boys. And number one, the Montreal screw job. What else was topping this list? I mean, the ultimate kayfabe breaker. When Shawn Michaels locked in the sharpshooter on Bret Hart and he tapped out to his own submission move. The ultimate kayfabe breaker. When Shawn Michaels locked in the sharpshooter on Bret Hart and he tapped out to his own submission move. And that was all that happened ever in history of ever. Ever. That's the end of the video. We're all gonna die of blistering headaches. Enter our giveaway in the description below. Bye. Ow, my head. Bye.